There we go. So now I'm recording so now I can put this on YouTube later on. So we're going to do a, a, a versus battle. It's a hundred. It's a hundred and twenty-eight rounds. Of just the best hood black movies known to man. So first one we're gonna start off with. Maybe I should uh maybe I should lower myself or let me lower my webcam real quick. So that way y'all can see I lower myself. Stuff right here. Alright. That's cool. So <clears throat> we gonna start it off with uh nothing to lose versus major pain. Uh, both is good movies, but let's be real. <laughs> Nothing's topping major pain. Oh, this a oh, oh, this a tough one right here. This a tough one right here. Now, nah, brother, do what you gotta do. I was just letting you know. I just letting you know I just started. That's all I was just doing. I was just trying to let you know. I ain't know. Like I said, I ain't trying to bother you. If you're doing something, then do what you gotta do, my brother. I ain't gonna. Uh, I ain't trying to force. You. I ain't trying to force you to uh, come through. If you're doing something, then you're doing something. Like I said, if, if you're doing something, just do what you gotta do. I just let you know. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be on for a while, so you you good. I'm gonna be on for a while. I just started. So yeah. Oh boy, we got a they 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 giving us hard ones right now. Blue Hill Avenue versus Above the Rim. That is tough. That is tough. Blue Hill Avenue versus Above the Rim. That is tough right there. Cause these both good movies, bruh. They got the uh they got the soul food uh kid in here. All grown up with a beard and shit. <laughs> this is this is this is a good ass movie right here. This was tough though. This is that was this is tough though, but oh no. Oh, this is tough. They throwing the they throwing haymakers right now, bruh. Above the rim versus Blue Hill Avenue. Damn, this is tough. Bro. This is tough because these are both good movies, bro. Oh, man. Oh, boy. This is tough. Hmm. 
I'm going to give it to Blue Hill Avenue. I'm sorry. I love Above the Rim, but I'm going to have to give it to Blue Hill Avenue on this one. Uh, I never, I still haven't watched New Jersey Drive. I still haven't watched it yet, so I'm going to go with Ali just because that's the one I watched. Why they hitting us with the toughest ones? Oh my God, bro, why? This is tough right here, bro. This is not easy, bro. This is not easy, y'all. John Q versus Goddamn. Hold on. Versus, uh. Ah, this was a good ass movie. They, 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 they should have gave Denzel an Oscar for this one, too. He should have. Denzel should have like five Oscars, if we being honest, bro. Denzel should have like five Oscars, bro. But this is tough, though. But this a hood classic. This a hood staple. But damn, this was a good ass movie. Fuck. The Hood Staple versus a really good movie. You don't want to disrespect Denzel, but you don't want to let a hood classic like this go to go go to go to waste, bro. Oh, this is tough. Cause this is a hood classic. If this was going up against another comedy movie, it would have been easy to pick this, but they put this up against a really good movie, bro. Oscar worthy movie, bro. I'm gonna get a slight edge to this one just because it's a hood classic, bro. It's a hood classic. So full versus alright, come on, Chief. Come on. We ain't gotta we ain't gotta explain that. Oh, uh, why they fucking with me? My favorite. This is my favorite right here. I love this movie. I love National Security. No matter what bro with glasses says, this is my favorite. Not, this is my favorite movie right here. Here we got Paid in Full. I'm going to go with Paid in Full, though. I'm going to go with Paid in Full. ATL versus Black Panther. Mmm. We got Wakanda Forever versus. Man, I've been running this house since I was 16. This is my daddy house. <laughs> oh, I'm going to go with Black Panther on this one. I'm sorry, ATL. ATL is a good movie, but that first Black Panther, man, Killmonger, man, that's, a, that's an incredible villain right there. Hustle and flow, hands down. Hustle and flow. See, I wish they would have put Don't Be a Menace up against How High, because it would have been easy. It would have been easy for me. See, They not making this easy, bro. I promise y'all they not making this easy, bro. Ah, they not making this easy, bro. White man can't jump versus how high. Phenomenal acting in this one. But this is a classic right here. Boo fool by us, fuck you. Um, 
Damn. I'm gonna get the slight edge to. I'm gonna get a slight edge to uh uh what you, what you call uh white man can't jump. This is too easy. Come on now, it's too easy. Ooh, this is a good one right here. Why do fools fall in love versus first Sunday? You know what? I got a <laughs> I got a reason why I can't watch this movie no more. For a certain reason, I can't watch this movie no more. So I'm just gonna go on ahead and choose this one. Nutty Professor versus School Nutty Professor. Menace to Society versus Jason Lyric. Fire movie, but you not fucking with the hood classic right here. Menace to Society. Little Man versus Roll Bounce. Okay, now this is a this is an even playing field right here. This is an even playing field right here. Uh, shit. I fucks with both of them, though. But I gotta get the slight ass roll bounce. I get the slight ass roll bounce. Class act versus 4 4 brothers. Come on now. The wood. Pause. 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 Next Friday versus put. Come on, man. Next Friday. Ju oh, my God. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Juice versus poetic justice. Oh boy. Get the slight edge. I'm gonna give it to Juice. Bet better movie. Better movie. I still say Juice is probably one of the best hood movies ever created. Fresh wins by a landslide. It's not even close. Antoine Fisher. Too good. Too good. Acting was way too good. Beverly Hills Cop. I, I don't see how anybody could choose pressures. Get pressures to fuck up out of here. They got Friday versus white chicks. Why? <laughs> no. We already got to get rid of white chicks. Right out the gate, white chicks is gone. Damn. What's love got to do with it versus the Temptations? They put Tina Turner up against the goddamn Temptations. Ain't nobody come to see you, Otis. I'm going with what's love got to do with it. Better acting. So, okay, okay, get the fuck out of here. I'm definitely this movie right here. Um, <laughs> higher learning. 
Boys in the Hood versus Money Toss. Come on now. Boys in the Hood. Bebe Kids versus the Best Man. Ah, uh, why we gotta uh why would they put Bebe Kids up against Best Man? You know Best Man gonna win. You know Best Man gonna win. Crooklyn versus Set It Off. Set it off. The Preacher's Wife versus The Wash. Ah, shit. Once again, Denzel Washington at his best with Whitney Houston versus a fucking hood classic, bro. Why are they doing this? Why are they make why are they making you choose between Denzel Washington and Hood Classics, bro? That's not good, bro. It's not good. These both these are both great, but I'm going with the wash. I'm going with the wash. Why are they doing this? Why are they doing this, y'all? Why are they doing this, y'all? I hate that they doing this, bro. Baby Boy versus versus my favorite Rush Hour, bro. This is my favorite Rush Hour, bro. This was the first ever DVD I owned, bro. When I first got my uh my PlayStation 2 This was the first DVD I got with it, bro. They putting they putting they putting a hood classic up against my favorite rush hour movie, bro. It's not fair. It's not fair, but you know where we're going with this. Baby Boy moves on. Bad Boys 2 versus Wade. Come on, man. Bad Boys 2. Don't 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 play with me. In too deep versus five heart. Ooh, that's tough. This is tough. In too deep versus the five heartbeats. I got nothing but love for you, baby. I got nothing but love for you, baby. I might go, I might go with the five heartbeats on this one, just because this is a movie I grew up with. But In Too Deep is a really good movie, but Five Heartbeats, man, this is a good ass movie, bro. I grew up with this. I gotta take Five Heartbeats. State property versus six man. State property. <laughs> you got served versus like Mike. Oh, this is a debate right here. What's good, Jalen? What's good, my boy? Oh man, they already starting it off, man. This is a, this is a debate right here. You got served versus like Mike. This is tough. This is tough. This is tough. <laughs> Even though you got served is, is a Tubi movie, like Mike is just, I don't know, bro. This is tough. Do I go with the Tubi dancing movie? Or do I go with arguably one of the best basketball movies to ever exist? 
I think I'm gonna go with like Mike. I'm gonna take like Mike over you guys serve. Sorry you guys serve. I thought you guys serve would make it to the next round, but nope. They had to put it up against like Mike. Come on, man. Dead Presidents versus uh, Beverly Hills Cop 2. Dead Presidents. Story, story was immaculate. Love Jones versus Head of State. Oh, uh, shit. Love Jones is a classic, though. This is my mama's favorite movie, though. My mama had the poster and everything for this. This is my mama's favorite movie. This was my second DVD I had got when I first got my PlayStation 2, though. It's tough. Because it's a good movie, but it's a good movie. It's, it's a really good movie. Hey, Bill Bellamy character wasn't shit, though. How the fuck you gonna get with your homeboy girl after he broke up with her? He didn't even know she was back in town. That was fucked up on Bill Bellamy part, but it is what it is. Oh, man, but Head of State is kind of funny, though, because this is like... This is like a what if. What if we had a black president? <laughs> This is tough right here. I'm going to say, um, shit. This is tough right here. I'm going to go, uh, I'm going to take Love Jones. I'm going to take Love Jones. Three strikes for some, oh, why would they do this? Why would they do this? Why would they put a hood classic versus a classic classic? Why would they do this? Why do they make... Bro, they made this so... Whoever made this fucking list, bro, with all these movies in here, you, sir, set this up beautifully, bro. This is tough. This is not an easy list to go through because you putting some of the best up against the best. It's not like the least favorite up against the best. It's the best versus the best. Would you like the hood classic or would you like a certified banger classic? This is tough. Because they got all the comedians right here. But this is my favorite movie. This is what I consider to be a the top hood movie to ever exist. In my personal opinion, this is the greatest hood movie to ever exist. But from a black perspective, bro, this is tough. This is tough. Kwame was good, my boy. was good. This is tough right here. I don't know what to do, man. I don't know, man. This is tough right here. Oh, man. You got a classic versus a hood classic, bro. This is tough. Because they got all the comedians in here. All the comedians and everybody played their role in here. But you got the hood classic right here, bro. This is tough. Why would they do this, bro? This is not an easy list at all. Fuck. What y'all think? Y'all saying three strikes right now. Damn. I don't know though. Cause you can't you can't you can't disrespect Harlem Knights like that though. It's still you can't, bro. This movie is goaded in its own right. But fuck this is a good classic right here. I'm a, I'm I'm a, I'm a, oh man I don't want to disrespect this movie bro but we're going to take three strikes and move on bro we got to we can't stay around for too long ooh Coolie High versus Candyman ooh shit I'm I don't shit that's oh shit Cooley High is definitely a definitely a hood classic, bro. Cooley High is definitely a hood classic. The 
but Candyman is Candyman gave everybody trauma, bro. Candyman is hood trauma, bro. So I'm gonna take Cooley High, bro, just so we can get Candyman up out of here, bro. We get we gonna get Candyman up out of here. Oh shit, Half Bank versus Meteor Man. The first black superhero versus Half Bank. Well, you know what? Since we already got Black Panther in here. We going we going we going to bump Meteor Man out of here. We going to bump Meteor Man up out of here. At Friday after next versus Norbit. Friday after next. Come on now. That's that was too easy. Stump the Yard versus About Last Night. Is ah uh, shit. I ain't gonna lie, both these movies is mid. Both these movies are mid. They killed Chris Brown in the first 10 minutes. They killed Chris Brown in the first 10 minutes of the fucking movie, lying to us, telling us that this is a Chris Brown movie when it wasn't. Then you got this movie, which I mean, it's good, but still, it's pretty mid. Oh, uh, shit. Do you take the born movie or do you take the mid movie? The born movie or the mid movie? I ain't saying uh, Columbus Short didn't do his thing in it. It's just, you got to understand, bro. They advertised this as a Chris Brown movie. You have to remember when this first came out, they advertised this as a Chris Brown movie. The fact that you killed this nigga in the first 10 minutes of the movie, that will never sit with, that will never sit good with any, with in, bro, to this day. That still don't sit well with anybody that went to go see this movie when it first came out, bro. You got to that's the only reason why I knocked this movie so much is because they lied to us, bro. They lied to us and told us this was a Chris Brown movie, bro, when it wasn't. That's the only thing that knocks this movie back, bro. They advertised this as a Chris Brown movie. Because all you saw in the commercial was Chris Brown dancing. You only saw Columbus Short in the background, bro. Then they was like, oh, we got Neo in here. They was like, yeah, we got Neo in here, too. It's like, oh, y'all got Neo and Chris Brown? Oh, this finna be lit. Then come to find out, you killed Chris Brown in the first 10 minutes of the goddamn movie. That's the only reason why this movie gets a knock. Because that's this is this isn't what we was expecting. They lied to us. False advertisement versus just pyramid right here. I'm gonna take false advertisement. <laughs> Love basketball versus life. Life. Next. Ooh. A thin line between love and hate versus booty call. Thin line between love and hate. Come on now. Who next? New Jack City versus Fruitville Station. Now they done made it hard again. Fuck. They done made it hard again, man. Fuck. This was a good movie. Both of them are good movies, man. Both of these are good movies, man. New Jack City versus Fruitville Station. Based on a true story. That's tough. That's tough when you think about it. That's tough.
and just keep calling me, man. <laughs> That's tough, though, but Fruitville Station, that just had a, uh, that got a strong message behind it, though. You, you got it. Both of these movies really do have a, a strong message behind them. So it's not like it's not like you could say either one don't got a good story behind it. Both of them have good um, messages behind them, but it's like, yo, this is tough. Cause Michael B. Jordan killed it in this one, but New Jack City is that shit though. But Ice T was acting weird in this one, so I'm, I'm I'm damn near leaning towards Fruitville Station, bro. I'm damn near leaning towards Fruitville Station, but Wesley Snipes, though, I can't disrespect this one. This is tough. This is tough right here. But Ice T was acting weird in this, and I damn near want to go with Fruitville Station just because of Ice T and his acting in this one alone. But Wesley Snipes killed it. Chris Rock killed it. Um, what's homeboy name? Uh, Alan Payne. He killed it in this one too. Yo, everybody did they damn near everybody did their thing in it. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna just be like, you know what? Shit. Shit tough fuck. They is not making this shit easy. This list is not easy, bro. I'ma definitely probably I'm gonna go with New Jack City, bro. I'm gonna give it a slight edge. Oh shit! No! They got hip hop all stars going up against hip hop all star. No! Come on, man! No! Nah, I, I still call him Alan Payne. I still call him Alan Payne. But this is tough though. They got the hip hop all stars going up against each other. They got no limit records going up against DMX and Nas and Method Man. It shit tough. Hot Boys was was actually the most fire movie that Master P created. Hands down, this is the most fire movie Master P created, hands down. But Belly is just like belly it ain't it ain't the best movie in the world but it's but it's got its it's got its moments this is tough you got the hip hop all stars bro do you go with a master p movie or do you go with a movie about nothing Absolutely nothing. Just a straight up basic hood movie with no plot at all. I'm gonna get the slight edge to belly. I'm gonna get the slight edge to belly. Okay, we got Lino. 
Bro, can I skip this one? Both these movies. I don't like neither one of these movies. Can I skip these? Cause I don't I never could get through um I never could get through uh co the color purple. It's, it's it's boring. The color purple is boring. I've never gotten through it. And I hate lean on me because of the cause Joe Clark is not realistic. The color purple is boring. I've never gotten through it. I think I've only gotten like I probably want to say I got like 45 minutes into it. That's the longest I've I've gotten into this movie. It's like 45 minutes. I've I've I, it's it's too boring for me. And and Joe Clark is not like I I hate I, I wish I could just skip over this one and just say neither. But I'm going to just go with Lean On Me because that's the one I saw. Love Don't Cost a Thing versus Sugar Hill. Sugar Hill. Good movie. Coming to America versus Gridlocked. Coming to America is too much of a classic. Sorry, Tupac. We love you, but nah. Boomerang versus Eight Mile. I'm gonna go with Boomerang. I'm gonna go with Boomerang. Okay, this is too easy. Brown, brown sugar. Do the right thing. Any no Tyler Perry movies get no love over here. House Party Two versus Rush Hour. Oh shit. Here we go again, y'all. Here we go again. House Party 2 versus Rush Hour. Go ahead with your question. They got two hood classics right here. It's tough, but I'm gonna go with Rush Hour, man. This Rush Hour is just too tough. I asked it once when you did this. I don't like House Party 2 that much. Uh, I mean, hey, if it's not your cup of tea, it's not your cup of tea. It is what it is. I ain't mad at you. That's that's yo, you, you entitled to like what you want to like, bro. It ain't my it ain't my place to tell you what you can and can't like. If you if you like something, that's what you like. If you don't like something, you don't like something. Uh, this is too easy. American Gangster. Let's move on. Come on, man. This is too easy, man. <laughs> Bad boy. Cradle to the Grave versus Doctor Doolittle. Cradle to the Grave. R. P. D. M. X. Foolish, foolish, underrated Master P movie. Oh shit. I'm gonna give it to I'ma give it to radio. I'm gonna give it to radio. That was a good movie. I don't watch radio because radio 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 make you cry. Radio bring your thug tears out. They got they finally got a Tubi movie in here against Sister Act. A Tubi movie versus Sister Act. I'm going with the Tubi movie. Buffed Up is hilarious, bro. I don't care what anybody say. Buffed Up is hilarious. Ghost Dad versus Baps. I'm taking Baps. Halle Berry for the win, man. Halle Berry! Halle Berry! Why are they doing this? Why? 
Why are y'all doing this? Why you put my favorite strip club movie up against my favorite movie, man? Outside of right next to um right next to um three strikes how to be a player is my second favorite hood movie right next this, bro this is tough bro Bro, this is tough, bro. They put my favorite strip club movie up against my favorite, my second favorite movie, bro. My second favorite hood movie, bro. How to be a player is my second favorite hood movie next to uh Three Strikes, bro. This is my second favorite hood movie. I love, I love this movie. I grew up with this movie. Fuck. This shit getting tougher and tougher, bro. Fuck. Cause this my movie right here, but this was a this was a fire, bro. This is too iconic, bro, but this my favorite right here. Plus, you actually getting game from this movie, bro. You actually get game from this movie, bro. This movie actually does give you game, bro. And it still works to this day, y'all. It still works. You just got to be smooth with it, though. You can't just be all desperate with the ladies, man. You got to be smooth with it. You know what I mean? You got to be smooth with it. This is tough, though. Players Club, how to be a player. Players Club, how to be a player. Shit. Which one had the baddie, baddies? Who had the baddies? How to be a player had the baddies, but shit, none of them, none of them could fuck with Lisa Ray though. How to be a player had the most baddies, but. Is any of them really fucking with Lisa Ray is the question. I know Lisa Ray is one person, but that's the thing, though. Is Lisa fucking Ray? Don't get me wrong. It's a bunch of baddies in this one, but... Lisa Ray, you, you, I, that's why it's tough, bro. You can't go based off that, bro. Because Lisa Ray... It's just uh, it's, it's bad enough to take out all the women in uh, How to Be a Player. All of them. If, even old girl. Even old girl um, Lisa. Even Lisa. Lisa Ray can overtake Lisa. But the end of that last reaction was weird as hell. You started to sink up. <laughs> It sounded like you had something personal on your mind, bro. <laughs> it sounded like you had something personal, bro. <laughs> you needed to get it off your chest. <laughs> I'm saying, though. But, damn, this is tough, bro. Fuck. You get game from this one, but this was a good ass movie, though, bro. You can't deny how. F and Bernie Mac, bro, Bernie Mac was in both of them, and he killed both of them. So that you can't use the Bernie Mac on, on this one, cause he keep he was in both movies and he killed it. Come on, man, y'all remember? Smell like Badusi. <laughs> I. Hey man. No, nah, cause you said no, nah, cause I remember in the uh the baby video. You was crushed you was you was you was you was going you was 
You was crushing over, uh, you was crushing over Ashanti, Amir. In the baby video, you was crushing hard over Ashanti, bro. When they got to the one song, uh, they got to the one song with Megan Thee Stallion. She like it nasty. She like I'm running on it, then and all I'm man. It's just, <laughs> but yeah, man. That's that's why I was saying it though, cause I was like, yo, you was crushing kind of hard for Ashanti, bro. And I felt like you 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 need to get something off your chest. You felt some type of way. That's where I that's where it came from, cause of that damn the baby video. That the baby video you did where you was crushing over uh Shanti, bruh. That's where it came from. <laughs> It sounded like you need to get something off your chest, brother. I was just trying to make sure. I was trying to look out for you. My bad. My bad. My bad. Play as fuck up, man. Play as fuck up, man. Play as play pimp to pimp, man. I'm a play as fuck up, man. My bad. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> oh, man. But we got to get back to this because we got to move on from this one, bro. We've been sitting here for a minute, bro. We dumbfounded on this one. Cause they've been they've been making this tough, bro. We got to get back to this one. How to be a player versus players club? Who walks away with this? This cause how to be a player is my second favorite hood movie, bro. And I don't want to. I don't want it. I don't want it knocked out the first round, bro. This is only the first round. We done knocked out some classics already, bro. That I'm I'm not too. I'm not too proud of, bro, that we had to knock some classics out because they went up against other classics. But I don't want to let the Players Club go too. But one of them got to move on, man. I might, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm gonna have to take. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna probably have to take How to Be a Player, bro, just because it's a personal movie for me. It's a personal movie for me. I'm taking How to Be a Player. Malcolm X versus Cub Malcolm X. Stop playing with me. Denzel should have won an Oscar. Bro, Denzel should have like eight Oscars right now. Shatas versus Paper Soldier. Shatas. Stop playing with me. Ray versus Cat. Well, come on. How the fuck is Catwoman a hood movie? How is Catwoman a hood movie? Get the fuck out of here. South Central, okay, no Tyler Perry movies is going to make it out the first round. Let's just get that out the way right now. Okay. We down to the second round, but let me do something real quick. Let me um let me get the chat out the way. Let me get the chat. Let me uh fix the chat real quick. Let me do that real quick while we here. Uh what's it called? Stream element something like that. Oh well, I gotta always sign in when I do this shit. Hold on. Bring it over here real quick. Sorry. Can't let y'all see my login and shit. Chat settings messages fade after messages fade after ten seconds. Okay, save. We'll put that right there. All right, so now we in the second round. Second round, Soul Food versus Do the Right Thing. Do the Right Thing, too easy. 
Oh shit. <laughs> Black Panther versus the thin line between love and hate. Damn. Ah, uh, shit. Hmm, Wakanda Forever versus this movie. Ah, uh, shit. I'm gonna go Black Panther. Killmonger is still too good of a villain, bro. South Z Central versus Five Heartbeats. Sorry, Heart Five Heartbeats, but South Central is going to move on from here. What's Love Got to Do With It versus The Best Man? Sorry, Tina Turner, but this is where you get off at. We're moving on with The Best Man. The Wood versus Road Bounce. Too easy. Dead President. Oh, shit. Now, this ain't easy. <laughs> this ain't easy. Because this is some of Lorenz Tate best work. This is Lorenz Tate best work. I don't know about this one, y'all. I don't know about this one, y'all. Uh, this, this, this Lorenz Tate best work. Both these movies. But he was really he was really on point in this one. But he did his but he did his thing and then he did his thing in this one, but he was on point in this one. I don't know. This one kind of tough. Cause the rest Tate did his thing on both of them, but shit. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a probably uh shit. You probably have to go with dead president. So I'm gonna have to let dead presidents move on. Come on, man. Why are they doing this, man? Why would they do this, man? Never make it easy, bro. It's been so easy so far. Now they doing this, bro. The, arguably the best. I want to say the best written hood movie versus a it a, a hood classic, bro. This is tough right here. This is tough right here. Let me see if we still on. Is we still on? Oh, I'm just making sure we still on. Making sure we still on, man. Shit. They making this one hard, bro, because you can't get rid of juice that easy, bro. You can't. But Don't Be a Menace is a hood classic, bro. But you can't get rid of juice, bro. You can't. You can't. This is too good of a movie, bro, to just throw away for a, a, a comedy movie. I ain't, I ain't, I, I'm gonna be honest with you. I ain't heard Holiday Inn since it was on the radio. Once it went off the radio, I wasn't listening to it no more. So I, I don't even remember Snoop verse on that shit. If we being honest, I remember Snoop being on it because of the music video, but I don't remember his verse. I haven't listened to that song in years.
if we be honest, bro, I like I I don't even remember Snoop verse. That's how long it's been. It's been that long. So I wouldn't blame you for not knowing that Snoop was on there, but I wouldn't blame you for not knowing that Snoop was on there because I don't even remember his fucking verse. I do remember being on there because of the chorus. Nothing chilling at the holiday. Yeah. Me and my peace, don't you be throw with your friends. On each other and sip on some hen. One thing leading to another, let the party begin. I remember that vividly because that's when everybody started going to the Holiday Inn. Holiday Inn numbers went up and they didn't get Chingy, Ludacris, nor Snoop Dogg. No, uh, no endorsement deals or nothing. Nigga, Holiday Inn stocks went up by 200%. <laughs> and then niggas stopped going to the Holiday Inn after like, I want to say like 2006, 2007. Because, uh... I think it was something about racist employees there. So now the Holiday Inn ain't what it used to be no more. But now we gotta finish this up, man. Juice versus Don't Be a Menace. Juice versus Don't Be a Menace. Fuck. You know, I'm I'm gonna go with Juice. I'm sorry. I hate to knock off Don't Be a Menace, but we gotta move on with this one. But I'm gonna go with Juice. Ah, life too easy. Next, RP DMX though. I don't remember choosing Beverly Hills Cop. That's what I was saying. I didn't even know Snoop Snoop on the chorus. LOL. I thought it was Chingy for years. <laughs> Not because Chingy is on the chorus. He in the background, though. Chingy in the background pretty much throughout the whole chorus, so I can understand why you would get him confused. I'm going with Beverly Hills Cop. I don't remember choosing Beverly Hills Cop. Ah, oh, radio, you are such a good radio is such a good movie, but you're not fucking with bad boys. Come on now. Such a good movie though. Four brothers versus Sugar Hill taking four brothers. Baby Boy versus Malcolm X. Sorry, Jody Joe. But we gotta go with Brother Malcolm for the win. Black History Month. We can't can't do that. Ooh, why they do that? Why they do that? See, we, we, we just got out of a tough situation with how to be a player, and now they're putting us in another tough situation with how to be a player. Come on, man. They can't keep doing this to me, man. They can't keep putting good movie up against how to up against my favorite movie, man. Why they doing that? Why they doing that? Why they putting my favorite movie up against a good movie? Because they know I'm going to choose my favorite movie. <laughs> oh, man. Boomerang versus The Wash. I'm taking The Wash. Not even up for debate. State Property versus versus Foolish. Okay, this is kind of tough right here. Because this was a, actually a good movie right here. This is a really good movie. Foolish is a really good movie. But State Property is a hood classic, bro. I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, uh, shit. They both good movies, but I feel like this is just more of a hood classic, a hood staple, bro. You're going to get down or you're going to lay down. 
The only thing I hate about this movie is the ending. I hate the fact that that wasn't even the ending. <laughs> so you know what? I'm going to go with state property. <laughs> I'm still going to go with state property. Blue Hill Avenue versus Halfback Blue Hill, Blue Hill Avenue. Too good of a movie. I love Buffed Up, but this is where you lose. <laughs> Belly versus Fresh. I'm taking Fresh. Too good of a movie. Coming to America versus Shadows. Coming to America. Like Mike versus Next Friday. Bro, you have to, bro, you have to pull up the scene from the watch where Mr. Watch told Pierre to get out of the building. <laughs> oh no, let me let me see. <laughs> and on the real though, George Wallace is hey George Wallace is underrated as a comedian, bro. For real, hold on, let me. Let me see if I can find it real quick. Let me see if I can find it. I know it's it's not a debate, but I'm still saying though, it's still it's still it's still a hood classic. I know it's not a debate. I know it's not a debate because it's Friday. It's Friday. We all know Friday gonna go over regardless. I know Friday gonna go over regardless. Ooh, too easy. Three strikes. Let's move on. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, this is a tough one right here. Kinda. Not really, but kinda. Trading Day versus Hustle and Flow. Is 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 not really a debate. Hold on, why is why is my stream down here? My stream up out of here. Uh let's see here. The wash. Bro, where's it? At? Oh uh, no, this ain't this ain't it right here. Okay. Okay. Nah. Where the HD scene of this at? <laughs> oh man Hold up Alright let's get back to it Let's get back to it It's funny when three strike when in three strikes when Brian said he had a dream. Now he thinks he's Martin Luther King. <laughs> Bro, I got the movie on my uh on my um uh, 
on my laptop, but I got it on my laptop. It's sitting right there, but they say my laptop. This my this my beast computer right here. It's my desktop. So let me see right here. Training day versus hustle and flow. Hustle and flow. Hustle and flow go hard, but training day. You, you can't top uh uh, uh what you call it um. Uh, uh Denzel Washington. Major pain versus Cooley High. Come on, too easy. Major pain. American Gangster versus Friday. Uh oh. The first Friday might be in some trouble, y'all, because it's going up against Denzel again. Bro, we didn't already had to eliminate one Denzel movie. <laughs> we didn't already had to eliminate one Denzel movie, which was John Q. I hated to eliminate that one, but it went up against Don't Be a Menace. So we had to let it. We had to. We had to. We had to get it on up out of here. We had to get. We had to get a uh, uh, John Q up out of here. But American Gangster, Frank Lucas. I don't know, y'all. We might. We Friday might be getting the boot right here. Friday might be getting the boot right here. The first Friday on top of that too. So I don't know. Y'all better. Y'all better. Y'all better speak y'all peace. Y'all better speak y'all peace before it's too late, cause Friday about to get the boot. I'm sorry, but ain't nothing touching American Gangster, bro. I'm telling y'all, bro. Denzel should have at least, at least six or seven Oscars right now, bro. This man only got two, man. That's that's trash. That's that's trash, bro. This man only got two Oscars, bro. No, it's Friday, though. I mean, you sure? Because American Gangster is fire, bro. It's a fire-ass movie. It might be a little boring, but it's fire. Y'all, I'm saying though, man. In fact, hold on real quick. Let me do something. See something real quick. I mean, y'all saying it's Friday, but is it really Friday? Can we really say that with Denzel at his fucking best? I'm just saying, though. I don't want to give Friday the boot because this is the first Friday. And the other Fridays made it through. I don't want... The first Friday to be a second round knockout. But this movie too fucking good, bruh. You know what? I'ma go I'ma 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 go with Friday. Alright? I'ma go with Friday. Y'all making me go against my you making me go against the grain. Why are the pictures not showing up? Okay, we got white man can't jump versus rush hour, too easy. I mean, ain't nothing wrong with a serious movie. Serious movies are fire, though. Ain't nothing wrong with serious movies. Serious movies are fire, man. <laughs> I get it, man. I get it. I get it. 
but set it off versus paid in full. I'll go with paid in full. It's based on the true story. Why are the pictures not showing up? I can't refresh it because if I refresh it, it's going to start the whole thing over. So I can't refresh it at this point, sadly. We got Menace to Society versus Nutty Professor. Uh, Menace to Society by Landslide. It's not even close. Bad Boys versus Antoine Walker. Ooh, this is a tough one, but I'm still giving it. No, I ain't, I ain't saying it like that. I'm saying, though, it's like... I I, I want to watch the comedy movie. I want to watch the comedy movie, but... That, that, that shit kind of fire, though. That other movie kind of fire, though. You got Ray versus Baps. Ray versus Bats. I'm going with Ray. Too good. Brown Sugar versus Stump the Yard. Okay, too easy. Brown Sugar. <laughs> Boys in the Hood. We finally got a picture. <laughs> Boys in the Hood versus New Jack City. Oh man, this might be a Alright, we hey, hey, we might have a debate right here. Boys in the Hood versus New Jack City. Which one y'all rolling with, man? Which one y'all rolling with? Boys in the Hood of New Jack City. This 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 might be a little debate right here. This might be a little debate right here. I think we know who the consensus would be. I think we know who the consensus would be, but I know Boys in the Hood would be the consensus, but you know, this might be a little debate right here. Boys in the Hood or New Jack City? That's a tough one right there, even though it's easy though. Boys in the Hood, all right. Well, this is where Nino Brown gets off at. All right, Nino Brown. Okay, we got Lean On Me versus Love Jones. I'm taking Love Jones. And that is it for the second round. We are now in the third round. The third round, we got we got two Spike Lee joints. We got Do The Right Thing versus Malcolm X. Okay, once again, this is a little tough one right here. Do The Right Thing versus Malcolm X, y'all. Which one y'all got? Which one y'all got? Do The Right Thing or Malcolm X? Me, personally, I'm taking Brother Malcolm for the win, always. I'm always going to root for Brother Malcolm. But these are two Spike Lee joints, so... I'm gonna let I'm I'm gonna let y'all I'm gonna let y'all let y'all decide for this one. I'm gonna let y'all decide on this one because I I can't choose no more. I'm 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 tired of making the, the tough decisions. I'm tired of it. <sighs> I'm tired of tough decisions, man. I'm gonna let y'all choose the one. Do the right thing or Malcolm X. This this that's this one a little tougher now. Cause we getting down to the nitty gritty. I don't know, this one kinda tough. Do the right thing or Malcolm X. Do the right thing. I'm gonna let y'all decide this one. I, ca I can't decide this one. This one is not easy. Cause I like, I like do the right thing with Malcolm X's 
Denzel was in his bag, and once again, I'm gonna keep reiterating this, Denzel should have eight Oscars to his name. Should have eight Oscars to his name. Not just two, bro. This one kind of tough, bro. Cause I, I don't I don't know which one to choose, bro. If it feels up to me, I'm I'm going with Brother Malcolm. Only because it's Black History Month, I'm going with Brother Malcolm. Oh man. Friday. Yeah, brother, you behind like a motherfucker. My brother said Friday, brother, you way behind. <laughs> oh, man. Do the right thing or Malcolm X. I'm going to go shit. I guess it's do the right thing then I guess do I guess this is where brother Malcolm get off at we got Friday versus dead presidents Friday Blue Hill Avenue versus Friday after next they not making this easy man it's not going to get easy, man. Because Blue Hill Avenue is good, but Friday After Next is a classic, bro. Do we let Friday After the Next pass because it's Friday? Or do we let an actual, or do we let a movie that's really good move on over Friday After the Next? I don't know. I'm, I'm pretty sure a lot of y'all never seen Blue Hill Avenue. It's very underrated. If you have, you should know that this is an underrated movie, bro. Friday after the next shit. I think I'm gonna let Friday after the next go on. I hate to I hate to knock off Blue Hill Avenue because it's a really good movie. Blue Hill underrated. I never seen Blue Hill, so I'm gonna go going with Friday. If y'all haven't seen Blue Hill Friday, man, y'all need to y'all need to go see that, man. Y'all need to go see Blue Hill Friday, man. If I mean, uh, Blue Hill Avenue, I said Blue Hill Friday, Blue Hill Avenue, man. If y'all ain't never seen it, bro, underrated movie, underrated, really good movie. Story, acting, everything was top notch in this movie. But, you know what I'm saying? Friday, so we're just gonna go with Friday. Friday after the next move on. Ooh! 
Oh, this, this, oh. Oh, this, oh. Oh, this might be a debate right here. This might be a debate right here. This might be a debate right here. Next Friday versus Bad Boys 2. This might be a fucking debate right here. This might be a fucking debate right here. We got to talk about it. Bad Boys 2 versus Next Friday. Bad Boys 2. Bad Boys 2. Everybody say Bad Boys 2 right now. Next Friday might be getting the boot. Baby Joker and them might be getting the boot. <laughs> Honey Shafiti. Big ass titties. Counting the green. Getting in between those titties. Hey, fuck you. Let's go party on We're gonna go with Bad Boys 2, man. We're gonna move on, man. The Wood versus the Best Man. Oh, shit. Yo, hey, these are debates right here. These are debates right here, bruh. Hey, y'all, these debates right here. These debates. <laughs> these some debates right here. These some good ass movies, bro. This list, hey, man. Whoever made this list, bro. Fantastic job, bro. Because you don't put some of the hardest movies up against each other, bro. Oh man. <laughs> this is debate right here, but y'all y'all saying y'all saying the, the the two by four. I ain't gonna say the name, I'm gonna say the two by four. <laughs> I would say the two by four here, man. Whoever made this list, bro, fantastic, bro. So we're gonna take the two by four. We're gonna take Plank. Black Panther versus Major Pain. Once again, we have a debate here, ladies and gentlemen. Do we go with Wakanda forever? Or do we go with Major Pain? What y'all got? What y'all got? I need to know what y'all got, man. Wakanda forever or Major Pain? And remember, this is the first Black Panther, not the second one. This is the one with Killmonger. <laughs> so let's just keep that in mind. This is the one with Killmonger. Let's let's not let's not let's not let's not get it tweeted. Let's not get it twisted. This ain't the second one. Even though I've never seen the second one, but I know it's ass. Major Pain versus Black Panther, bruh. Black Panther. We got one Black Panther. Wakanda forever. This the first one. This, this, this the Kendrick Lamar Black Panther. This ain't the Rihanna Black Panther. Keep that in mind. This the Kendrick Lamar back Black Panther. <laughs> oh, man. I 
I said Black Panther. We go out to go with Black Panther. Black Panther. All right. We're going with Black Panther for the win. Wakanda forever. We move on. Wakanda forever. Ooh. <laughs> hey, this list is fire, bruh. This list is fire. We got Juice versus Life. Juice versus Life. Yo, this list. Oh, hell no. I ain't no Marvel. I, I never hate it. Bro, my favorite superhero is Spider Man. Come on, Chief. I know this one tough. I know this one tough. We, hey man, this what happened, man. We in the third round, man. We in the third round. We we in the sweet sixteen now. We in the sweet sixteen now, y'all. This one tough. I I could never be a Marvel hater. I grew up on Marvel. Life, everybody's saying life, man, but y'all sure about this? I think y'all sure about this. Y'all got to understand, Juice is one of the movies, bro. I know it's ass because they didn't recast um uh, Black Panther. They should have recasted Black Panther, bro. They should have never moved on to the sister, bro. I wanted them to recast, bro. I really did, bro. I wanted them to recast, bro. It don't feel right just letting Prince T'Challa die off with Chad Chadwick. It would have been bad because they don't do that for the white. They don't do that for the uh. They ain't do that for the Hulk. They ain't do that with uh Terrence Howard. When Terrence Howard uh didn't come back for the second Iron Man. I'm just saying though, they they I, they should have recast it, bro. That's all I'm saying, bro. They should have recast it, chat uh uh Prince T'Challa, bro. They could have got another You telling me uh, well, no, you couldn't get Idris Elba cuz he was already in it. I, I don't know, man. I'm going to give it a chance, bro. But everybody said it was bad, bro. Everybody said it was bad. It did not get good reviews, bro. Everybody said it was bad, bro. That's why I really didn't want to watch it, bro. Because I was like, I know they fucked it up. I know they fucked it up. They didn't recast Prince T'Challa, bro. They didn't recast him like they were supposed to. But y'all saying life... Y'all sure y'all want to go with life? Remember, this is juice we're talking about here. Well, I mean, you know what? You know who they could have recasted uh, Prince T'Challa with? They could have recasted him with... Uh, Franklin from um, Snowfall. I think that would have been a, a good replacement. Franklin from Snowfall would have been a good replacement for Chadwick. I think that would have been a good replacement. Because he's a really good actor. If I watch Black Panther 2, I'm keeping them thoughts to myself. But y'all said y'all said life, so I guess life it is. Sorry, Tupac. RP Tupac. Three strikes versus four brothers. Too easy. Come on. 
<laughs> Three strikes. Come on. Too easy. Paid in full versus bad. Oh, shit. We got a debate. We got a debate. We got a debate, y'all. We got a debate, y'all. Y'all gonna have to decide on this one. This is on y'all. Paid in full versus bad boys. Cause we had a like, now they like, oh baby, my dogs go, y'all dogs go, and then we go. First we had them like, now they like. This is a debate right here. Y'all say it paid in full right now. Oh man, paid in full versus bad boys. Have I ever walked out of it? Uh, nope. I always watch it the whole way through. Unless it's like an emergency or something where I gotta leave. I always see the movie through. Okay, so we got one bad boys. We got two paid and fools and one bad boy. We got two paid and fools and one bad boy. This is a tough one right here because whichever one y'all choose is the one y'all choose, man. This is a tough one right here. This is a debate right here. This is this is the sweet 16, bro. This is where all the good teams. Have you ever walked out of the thing? <laughs> oh man. Right, it's it's two painted fools versus one bad boy as we Are you at? What was the movie? What was the movie, Amir? What was the movie? Great get wow. That's a, that's that's I can understand why though. I can understand why. I can understand why with that movie. <laughs> Dale. Dale. All right, so yeah, that's crazy. Well, I understand though. Okay, so everybody said pretty much is paid in fools the majority. So we gonna move on to paid in full. Uh, bad boys is out of here. The Wash versus Love Jones. The Wash. Ray versus Rush Hour. Rush Hour. Come on, man. We sorry. I'm sorry, Jamie. Fresh versus South Central. I'm going with Fresh. Menace to Society versus Brown Sugar. Menace to Society. It's not. Is that even a debate? Boys in the Hood versus Beverly Hills. I don't remember choosing Beverly Hills Cop. Cop. 
How to be a tra- <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Why, man? Why, man? Why did you put <laughs> my second favorite movie is going up against one of the best movies ever made, man? Why, man? Why they got us going through this, man? I don't want to watch. I don't want. I don't want how to be a player to just fall off, man. I miss my uncle Charles, y'all. Ooh, ooh. And we pray, we pray, we pray. We pray, we pray. <laughs> See you at the club, you won't be lonely. You won't be lonely. You won't be lonely. So you won't be lonely. And I'm gonna miss everybody. 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 Oh my god, bruh. Why they do this to me, man? Why? Why? Because <laughs> we gonna have to say goodbye to how to be a player. I don't want how to be a player to go, but fuck, it's going up against Trey today. But this is my favorite movie still. This is a movie I watch religiously, though. <laughs> this is a movie I watch religiously, bro. This is this is this this is my second favorite movie to uh Three Strikes. But then again, even though Three Strikes my favorite movie, I don't watch it a lot. Because I don't like to, I don't want to tire myself out from it. I make an occasion to at least watch it at least like five times a year. I already watched it two times this year, so I got three more times to watch it. Then I can't watch it no more for the rest of the year. I don't want to tire it out. I just want to come back to it every now and again. But how to be a player, I watch this shit religiously, bro. This is my second favorite movie, The Three Strikes. I don't want to see it go, but damn it, Denzel. If Denzel ain't... If Denzel ain't make one of the greatest fucking characters in this goddamn movie right here. This nigga made Alonzo the... The worst kind of cop. The worst kind of person, bro. Denzel did his fucking thing, bro. 
If I could play the clip, I would, but Warner, the Warner Brothers do not play games when it comes to training day. We at the crossroads, y'all. I'm gonna have to do it. It, it is. It is. I don't know if the guy's name was Alonzo, though. I think it was something else, but it is kind of, it is semi based off of a uh, real life cop. Then we got Coming to America versus State Property. Come on, man. Coming to America. Sorry, Beans, but we got to get you up out of here. And here we are, the Elite Eight. Hey, y'all, we in the Elite Eight. And right now, we got Black Panther versus Friday After Next. We got Black Panther versus Friday After Next, man. Is this where Friday After the Next gets off at? Because I'm, I'm leaning towards Black Panther right now. Friday after next. I'm, I'm leaning towards Black Panther right now, bro. I'm leaning towards Black Panther right now because kill. Because I'm going to just be real with you. Friday after next uh, uh, storyline and plot was all over the place. Friday after next with the buzzer beater. Man. I'm just saying though, man, Friday after the next plot was all over the place, man. Friday after the next, all right, Friday after the next it is. Do the right thing versus the wash. Do the right thing versus the wash. Do we let the wash go? Do we let the wash go, y'all? Come on, y'all. Do we let the wash go? Do the right thing versus the wash. Do we let the wash go and let Spike Lee go on? It was all over the place. It was all over the place. Bruh. The Santa Claus situation just I I didn't I didn't appreciate the Santa Claus coming back and robbing them in the middle of the day at their job. I didn't appreciate that. I didn't appreciate that. The wash. Everybody saying the wash. So Spike Lee is out of here. Ain't no more Spike Lee movies. All the Spike Lee movies are now gone. Three. Oh, 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 oh shit. Oh shit. Oh. Oh. Who y'all letting go? Y'all letting go the first Friday or y'all letting go three strikes? <laughs> this is a tough one right here. This is a tough one right here. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Which one going? Friday or three strikes? And remember, this is the first Friday <laughs> with Chris Tucker. Are we letting Smokey and Craig go? Is three strikes going on? Who is going on to the final four? 
Who is going on to the final four? Who is going on to the final four? Who's going on to the final four? I need an answer from the chat. I need an answer. This is a tough one, I know. <laughs> nah, I did. I said the Santa Claus part. The Santa Claus part was all over the place. Then they had the goddamn... I, it's just, it was just... It was just the plot was just kind of all over the place for me. It wasn't as structured as the first two were, I should say. That's what I will say. It wasn't structured like the first two Fridays were. The first two Fridays were, were structured. This is tough right here. Do we let the first Friday go with Chris Tucker or do we let three strikes up out of it? Or do we let arguably one of the greatest hood movies of all time go? These are two, these are the top two hood movies right now. Y'all gotta understand, this is this is Jordan versus this is Jordan versus Whoever you want to debate. If you want to debate Kobe, then it's Kobe. If you want to say LeBron, it's LeBron. It's Jordan versus whoever, bro. Is I know, bro. This right here is not going to be easy, bro. We got the best of the best. Okay, maybe saying the plot was all over the place was the wrong thing to say. I, I I'm going to I'm going to take my take my words back, and I'm gonna just say that Friday after the next just wasn't what as structured as it didn't have the same structure as the first two movies did. That's all I'm gonna say. Even though next Friday structure. They, they, they structure kind of like started slipping on the second one too. But I'm going to leave it right there. This is this is arguably two of the best though. This is the best. This is this is Muhammad Ali versus Mike Tyson, bro. This is Muhammad Ali versus Mike Tyson right now, bro. This is a this is not this is not an easy fight, bro. Y'all going to have y'all going to have to y'all going to have to choose, bro. We got one Friday. We got one Friday so far. Friday, and we got two Fridays. The OG Friday versus Three Strikes. Damn, we gonna let we gonna let Three Strikes go. We gonna let the greatest hood movie ever created go. And remember, these are both DJ Pooh movies. Remember that. Remember that these are both DJ Pooh movies. This is not going to be an easy out, bruh. We got two Fridays so far. For me personally, I'm going with three strikes. I'm, I'm with you. I'm with you, though. I'm taking three strikes. It's just... it's, But it's tough to say that it's the best because Friday, from a consensus basis, is arguably the best. It's, it's arguably the best hood movie ever made. Oh man, so we got another Friday. Oh damn, three strikes is is is, is looking like three strikes is up out of here. Damn, 
It's looking like it's looking like one of the most goaded hood movies is about to be up out of here, bro. <laughs> That's that Mike Epps. <laughs> That Mike Epps, he had them damn cowboy boots. So, bruh, hey, Mike Epps was a fool, bruh. Damn, bruh. Damn, bruh. We got plenty of people with the chat saying Friday, though, dog. Y'all sure? Are y'all positively sure? Because if I, if, if, if y'all for certain, just, just say lock it in. Just say lock it in and we can get this one over with. Y'all need to make sure, uh, are y'all sure? Are y'all absolutely, positively sure? Friday is the final answer. Friday up 3-1, but it can blow a 3-1. It could also blow a 3-1. Doc Rivers, 2016 Golden State Warriors. It, it can blow, it can blow a 3-1. I'm just saying, 3-2. <laughs> Yeah, it is 3-2 because I'm, I'm siding with three strikes on this one. I don't go off on other people's kids. I don't care if two billion people told me something. I disagree that I'm not saying it. If I disagree that I'm not saying it. All right. All right. Y'all absolutely positively sure, though. Friday, Friday, Friday wins this one. Uh, so, uh, so I'm by myself then, but all right, Friday it is, man, OG Friday moves on, man, the OG Friday moves on, man, that was a, that was, oh, damn, oh, damn, we just went into another one, y'all, we just went into another one, we just got out of a tough one, and now we back in another tough one, no, why, man? Why, man? Why? Why? Now we back in another tough one, man. Bad Boys 2 versus Menace to Society. This is what happens when you get down to the Elite 8, man. This become a real fucking debate, y'all. This become a real fucking debate. We got one bad boys too. We got one minutes to society. We got two minutes to society. got two of them. Bad Boys 2 looking like it might be on up out of here. Bad Boys 2 looking like it might be up out of here, man. Oh, man. This, this is a tough one right here. We just got out of a tough round. We just got out of arguably the greatest greatest fight to ever go. To, oh, my God, bro. We with but that that last that last one was was hard. Who I'm picking? Shit. Who I'm picking personally? Personally, I'm. Personally, I'm taking bad boys too. Personally, but I know from a consensus place. From a consensus standpoint, Menace to Society would be the one I would choose. I'm OD with the music. All right, I chill out. I chill out. I chill out. My bad. My bad, bro. My bad, bro. I chill out. I'm OD with the music. I chill out. Menace to Society. The consensus, I would go with that. But personally, I'm taking Bad Boys too. I'm taking Bad Boys 2 just because of the memories with the movie. I grew up with the movie, so 
Well, I grew up with the first two movies. I can't really speak for the third one. I ain't watched it since it came out. I ain't watched the third one since it came out. I Men, it's kind of hard to watch. It is, but it's it's still a good movie. It's still well it's still well written. And and they the acting is on point. The acting is on point from everybody in Menace too. But everybody's saying bad boys. I can't watch Menace every day versus Bad Boys 2. See here, we got Bad Boys 2, Menace in Society. I said Bad Boys 2. Bad Boys 2. If Bad Boys 2 was in Memphis. <laughs> oh, man. No, but my scene. My scene for Menace to Society. Hold on real quick. My, my scene for Menace to Society. I mean, not for Menace to Society, but Bad Boys 2. Bad Boys 2. My scene go forever be. The goddamn Reggie scene. The goddamn Reggie scene is always going to be my, my, uh, my go-to. I don't know if I could play it in full. Let me see if I can find like a low quality version. Let's see if I can find like a low quality version. I don't want I don't want us I don't want this stream to get shut down. So let me try to find like a low quality version of it. The goddamn Reggie scene is always gonna be my uh is the only reason why I'm choosing bad boys over uh Menace to Society. Alright, we'll go with this. Oh yeah, we'll go with this one. This one old as hell. Motherfucker, you look at least 30. <laughs> Hold on, we ain't gonna play the full scene now. We ain't gonna play the full scene now. Hold on. We ain't gonna play the full scene now. We just gonna go right here. Hold on. You look 30. <laughs> that shit? You supposed to see how high you smoking that shit? Fight. Oh, you can mm, fight. Nigga, you can't fight. <laughs> no, the nigga can fight. <laughs> I want to know if the nigga can fight. Somebody might come say something. The nigga can't fight. She can't, can't go. I just got out of jail. I ain't going back. <laughs> Move, nigga. Get out the way. If I see you on the highway, get the fuck out of my way. <laughs> you know, motherfucking ass down. <laughs> Chitty chitty bang bang. Hey yo! Hey yo! Hey yo! Hey yo! 
Hey yo! Hey yo! Hey yo! Hey yo! I'm not repeating that part, but we ain't just gonna just scroll past that shit like he ain't just say what we think he just said. Hey yo! <laughs> you said watch the uh, Bad Boys Two. So, Mr. Jones, I'll read your bangs. The fuck you here for? Coming to get TT. The fuck? Coming to get TT, ugly ass nigga. <laughs> 16, bro, damn. You look dusty, hell. <laughs> Let me see your ID, young nigga. I ain't even got it, sir. You ain't got it? Get your adolescent Chris Bosch looking ass up against this wall. <laughs> last picnic table ass shirt on. Fuck around with you, young nigga. You got me fucked up. Think you finna be fucking my motherfucking daughter? Huh, penitentiary braids wearing ass nigga? Who are that ugly ass young nigga? Oh, yeah, this Reggie Band. Fuck it, Reggie Band. This TT little boyfriend. Fuck you on, young nigga. Oh, I came to get TT, sir. What's your name, young nigga? Reggie Band. I heard him say your name, Reggie. But you looking like Kawhi Leonard. Ugly, young nigga. Look like you got Benjamin Button's disease. Slick dude. You jacking? Hell yeah, yeah. You jacking? We can't. Hell no. 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 Hell this T.T. Uncle Pooh, man. He ugly ass just got out of 201. Why you telling this ugly ass really in my fuck business? your ass up on my soul. Oh, God, young nigga. I just got out of jail, and I hurt your whole ass out by my motherfucking niece. Fuck around with you. Soft ass, young nigga. You scared of pistols or some your shit? Your ass going to jail. You scared of pistols or some shit? Man, I'm drunk as hell. I really <laughs> shoot the young nigga. I really blow your ass out, young nigga. On <laughs> oh, my soul. You really ugly here. Nick Cannon looking at me. Chill. Chill. Braze at me. Chill. Start a braze at me. Ugly, 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 ugly. Hey, bro, have my motherfucking daughter home on time. All right. <laughs> I hate to have to murk your meek be up on the fame looking at you. Hear me, young nigga? I'll and I already you told you, you good dragonfly looking at nigga. I earn your ass out. No cap. Leave that damn boy alone before I get on your ass. Don't play with my fucking dog. I'll beat your ass. You hear me, motherfucker? Your shirt look like a nacho tray. Anybody ever told you ugly as hell? No, sir. You ugly as hell. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Hey. <laughs> oh, man. Hey, that, was, that was actually funny. That was actually funny. <laughs> hey. Oh, man. Is we still up? Hopefully, we get blocked. If we get blocked, let me see. Yeah, we were black. Oh no, we still up. We still up. We still up. We good. We up. We up. <laughs> oh shit. I didn't mean to do that. We still up. Well, oh man. So let me go back through it real quick before we move on from this. Okay, so we got one bad boys, two minister societies. I said I'm going with bad boys. So that's three. So that's two bad boys, three bad boys. I'm gonna assume that this is four bad boys. So, with that being said, I think we gonna go with bad boys. I think we move it on with this one. Okay, coming to America versus Rush Hour. Ooh. Oh, this, 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 this. Oh, shit. Oh, shit, y'all. That's my shit. I watch that video all the time. I see. I see. That shit was actually funny. That was actually funny. Rush Hour, coming to America. Once again, we divided. We divided, y'all. Coming to America two times. 
We got two coming to America's in one rush hour. Oh, man. Rush hour. We got three rush hours and two coming to America's. Oh, man, it's looking like it's a wrap for coming to America, man. Ah, oh, it's looking like it's a wrap for coming to America, dog. Damn, dog. One of the classics right here, the OG classics, but rush hour it is. We moving on. Chris Tucker. Ooh. Ooh. This is another, hey man, we in the Elite Eight right now, bruh. Bruh, it's gonna be sad when we get to the next round, bro. It's gonna be sad when we get to the next round, bro. Because if we struggling with this round, ain't no telling what the next round gonna be. But we finna be struggling, bruh. This, I know, bro, I know. Kwamika, I know, bro. It's tough, bro. The wood. Uh, now y'all got me saying it. Pause, man. Pause. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. What the fuck? I meant to say plank. <laughs> the plank. <laughs> the plank, because life's sad as hell. Yeah. I can understand that, so... We got two planks in a life. We got two planks in a life right now, man. I think this is the last Eddie Murphy movie, man. This is the last one. This is the last Eddie Murphy movie. So is Eddie Murphy completely gone? Did Eddie Murphy completely lose? Did Eddie Murphy lose two times in the Elite Eight? I'm calling it the plank. <laughs> Bro, that's how all my thumbnails are for the streams. All my thumbnails are out of control. The plank feature film by Twang Entertain. Come on. <laughs> the plank featuring T Twang Entertain. Come on, Chief. Oh my God. That that's why I make that's why I make him the thumbnail. <laughs> This is who this. All right. Hey, the Bucks finally won a game. Finally, shit. I guess getting Pat Beverly did help, but then again, we did play against the Hornets, so never mind. All right. So everybody's saying the plank. So we gonna go with the plank. Life is out of here. Eddie Murphy is completely done.
it just keeps getting tougher and tougher. Each fucking game, each fucking round, each fucking round gets tougher and tougher. Each matchup gets tougher and tougher, bro. Whoever made this fucking list, bro, did an incredible job making this the most tough fucking list to do, bro. Whoever came up with this list, bro. We're going to have to get rid of one, bro. We're going to have to get rid of one, bro. Why? <laughs> We're going to have to get rid of one, bro. Everybody say it paid if over trading day? Y'all sure about this? This is training day we talking about here. Both movies are are semi based on are semi true. Are based on are 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 based on true events from a semi perspective. So y'all sure? We got one training day. Training day versus paid in full. This is a tough one. Each fucking matchup gets tougher and tougher as we as we go along here. This is not easy. Trading Day is an amazing movie. Trading Day is an amazing movie. I'm just making sure. This is Denzel Washington's best body. Well, this is where Denzel Washington got his Oscar, okay? This is where Denzel Washington got his Oscar, okay? He should have eight of these motherfuckers, but, we, but it is what it is. The Academy never gets it right. Fuck the Academy. We got two paid and fools, one training day. I'm assuming Amir gonna take paid and full, so that would make it three one right now. So right now we Doc Rivers. So right now this this shit is Doc Rivers right now. What about Cameron? Hey, Cameron was fired too. Cameron was fired too, but you gonna really compare Cameron to Denzel Washington, sir? Oh, you take a training day? Oh damn, it's 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 two two then. It's two two. I mean, Cameron is fired too, but he ain't no damn Denzel Washington. Shit. Cameron was Cameron was the MVP of Payton in full, hands down. But he ain't no Denzel Washington. It's a tie. We can't do no ties. I wish we could skip over this one, man. I wish we could just make it a draw and come back to it. Or try to switch or try to switch the matchup. But we gotta choose one right now. We gotta choose one. So I guess this is two two. I guess I gotta be the tiebreaker. Shit. Fuck. I get I I guess I'm gonna go with training day, man. I'm gonna go with training day because it's a tie. I gotta be the tiebreaker here. I'll go with training day. I mean, people get eliminated every day, B. You paid it full, B. All right. It's still one of the greatest hood movies out here. <laughs> People get eliminated every day, B. It's all right. <laughs> Training day is it. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. 
Oh shit! I think uh, I think the consensus is is gonna be Boys in the Hood. But hey, on the real though, fresh is that movie though. Fresh is that movie, but it's not Boys in the Hood. But we busting stupid dope moves, yo. <laughs> we busting stupid dope moves, yo. But it's it's a wrap for fresh from here, man. Boys in the hood, man. We busting stupid dope. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh. <laughs> We busting stupid dope moves. We in the final four, y'all. We in the final four. Ladies and gentlemen, we have reached the final four. We have reached the final four. We have reached the final four. <laughs> Bad Boys 2 versus OG Rush Hour. So far, if only this was Bad Boys 2 versus Rush Hour 2. I know. But they put Rush Hour up against um, Friday. They put Rush Hour 2 up against Friday. And Rush Hour 2 had to go, sadly, because it wasn't fucking with Friday. Rush hour, no question. Everybody's saying rush hour. I guess we moving on. My favorite scene from uh, rush hour is that one scene where he was arguing with the Chinese dude. He's like, I'm no punk bitch. We don't sell soul food. I'm no punk bitch. I ain't no punk bitch either. <laughs> that shit is hilarious. Boys in the Hood versus Friday After Next. If it was Rush Hour 2, it would be much easier choice. Facts. Cause Rush Hour 2 is goaded, bruh. But it went up against it went up against Friday. It they put Rush Hour 2 up against Friday. It wasn't gonna make it. It wasn't gonna make it. And and Rush Hour 2 is my favorite one. I didn't say nothing about soul food. I said some some I said some better food. I don't want this greasy shit. <laughs> I didn't say nothing about no soul. <laughs> I know punk bitch. <laughs> Boys in the hood, Friday after next, we got one. We won one right now. I know punk bitch. <laughs> I put the gun down. Fight like a man. Now the other funny part was she was like, when he was with the little girl, it's like, push the goddamn button. Yeah, push the goddamn button. <laughs> push the goddamn button. You heard it. <laughs> this is... Oh man, we got two Friday after next. Over oh, Boys in the Hood, really? Y'all gonna take Craig over Doughboy? Wow. We gonna take Craig over Doughboy. It's gonna it's Craig over Doughboy? That's what y'all saying? Craig over Doughboy? <laughs> Yo, Rush Hour is a fucking classic, bro. The first one, most definitely. Oh, man. The part when he went into the bar and Jackie Chan was like, What's up, my nigga? They would. <laughs> oh, shit, man. Oh, man. That fucking movie is hilarious, bro. 
What's up, my nigga? <laughs> oh, man. It's like, where the little girl at? Man, you better get your hands off me. Your mama bought me this suit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. So far, we got two Friday after decks and one Boys in the Hood, man. Y'all sh Hey, man, y'all sure? Is Craig over uh, Doughboy? <laughs> oh man damn so so it's craig over doughboy man it's craig over doughboy <laughs> who you think you who you think you kidnapped chelsea clinton <laughs> oh man All right, so it's, so it's Craig over Doughboy. That's what y'all saying. Craig over Doughboy. All right. We gonna wrap it up. Craig over Doughboy. Friday, Friday after next moves on. Friday after next moves on. Oh, my God. Don't tell me we finna make it Friday versus Friday. Don't tell me we finna make it Friday versus Friday. Oh my God. We narrowed it down to Friday versus fucking Friday, man. <laughs> we put no diversity into this whatsoever, bro. We just went, we just took two of the same, two movies from the same franchise. Oh, man, we took two of the same movies from the same franchise and just pit them up against each other in the end, bro, for the championship. Oh, man, so we gonna have Friday versus Friday. Because I know ain't nobody choosing the plank. I know the plank is done. The plank is done, right? Or 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 y'all or 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 do or do y'all feel like the plank should move on? <laughs> do y'all feel like the plank? Why? The plank is gonna move on. <laughs> is the plank for the move on? Cause it seems like we got we got some we got some people torn in the chat. We got some people torn in the chat right now. We got one Friday, though. We got one Friday. Everybody torn in the chat right now because y'all y'all don't know it's gonna be Friday versus Friday, or is the plank gonna gonna get his or or are we giving the plank is just due? Because let's be real, The Plank is a relatable movie. The Plank is a very relatable movie. I just need to know, man. We got one Friday so far. It, it's, is we move is 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 we got one Friday so far, but I need I need multiple votes. I can't just go off a of zinc. I can't go off a singular vote vote. I need multiple votes. I know the consensus would say Friday. The plank. <laughs> we got one plank. <laughs> this is the OG Friday versus the plank.
We got two Fridays. Oh man, we got two Fridays, man. Versus the plank. The plank versus fr Friday. It's looking like it's gonna be Friday. Yay, yay! Oh man. Because if we do Friday versus Friday, we all know the OG Friday going to win. So I'm going to give it about 30 more seconds. And then we're going we're gonna to close the polls. We're going to give it 30 more seconds. Then we're, I'm gonna clo we're going to close the polls, y'all. <laughs> give it 30 seconds. We got we we two we two we two and one right now. Two Fridays and a plank. Alrighty, it's 30 seconds. So it's gonna be Friday versus Friday. We come down to the champion. Oh no, we forgot about this one. Oh damn, we forgot about this one. Oh damn. Wait a minute. I thought this was the final four, wouldn't it? Wouldn't this be the final four? Or is this the Elite Eight? Or am I tripping? I think I'm tripping. Yeah, because it's four, it's four, it's four matchups. It's four matchups, so this would be the Elite Eight, technically. My bad. I'm tripping. I'm thinking. I'm thinking we in the final four. No, this is the elite eight. We got two to washes. It's looking like it's a wrap for uh, training day. Oh uh, yeah, the washes. The washes up three zero right now. <laughs> Fifty cent fool. <laughs> Wait, that's what, hold on, hold on, wait one minute. Man, that's what this is all about. Two punk ass quarters. <laughs> 50,000, dog, use your fucking brain. <laughs> Come on, man. Hey, hold on real quick. What? Your mama got caller ID on the phone? No, why? <laughs> Hang up. Hang up. <laughs> I'm gonna call you right back. These niggas ignorant. <laughs> the wash it is, man. Oh man. Oh man. Okay, so we can save it. We can still save this, y'all. This still this the final four right here. This the final four right here. We can still save this, y'all. We can still save this. <laughs> It's a shame what happened to Mr. Watch. Oh well, bust it. <laughs> we can still save this though. Y'all, we can still save this. Rush Hour, OG Rush Hour versus Friday After Dex. We can still save this shit. We can still save this shit or y'all can just go choose Friday. Oh, 
Oh man. Rush hour. Okay. Rush hour by landslide. It's looking like rush hour by landslide. We moving on, man. I know punk bitch. Hey, real talk though, that's why I don't have roommates, bro. The wash is one of the main reasons I would never have a roommate, bro. Especially a nigga, especially when you gotta pay half they fucking rent. Oh, man. But it's rush hour by landslide, so let's get it. Let's get it, man. Aw, oh, damn. Aw, oh, damn. Speaking of the wash. Aw, oh, damn. Aw, oh, damn. There is one scene I want to play, but I ain't trying to get got. I ain't trying to get this stream shut down. I was going to play the scene when, uh. They, 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 uh, with, uh, Snoop, when they was, when they did the, uh, <laughs> the one scene where they, uh, they had the girls come in and wash the cars and shit. You a freaky ass nigga. Freaky frog. You freaky frog. You a freaky frog. I would play. Fucking freaky frog. You a freaky frog. I would play it, but I'm not trying to get shut down, bro. I already got a guideline strike as is. I got a guideline strike and I got a copyright strike on my channel right now. I can't do it. I would do it. <laughs> oh, man. It's come down to this, y'all. It's come down to this, y'all. The Wash versus Friday. I'm going to let y'all debate. I got to go take a piss. I got to go drain the weasel. My bad. Ugh. Okay, I'm back. I am back. Okay, we got one Friday. Oh, we got three Fridays, okay. So y'all basically saying the wash is done. The wash has ran its course. I had to change that 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 hoodie was getting too, that hoodie was getting too hot. I had to change. But we got three Fridays. All right. 
Finna let the pose run for another 30 seconds and that's it. Y'all sure? <laughs> the Wash versus Friday. We are taking the landslide victory. Y'all sure? OG Friday. We'll be taking on Rush Hour for the title, for the championship belt. All right, 30 seconds. OG Friday it is. Chris Tucker's first movie versus Chris Tucker's arguably best movie. Freaky hey, we frog. got a subscriber. You freaky frog. You a freaky frog. <laughs> Fucking freaky frog. You a freaky frog. Anthony Barnes subscribed to the channel. Who's a freaky ass nigga?